And state officials are sharing new budget projections that paint a picture about the economic devastation this COVID-19 pandemic is causing Kentucky. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky joins us from the Capitol in Frankfort this morning to continue our coronavirus coverage. Claire, good morning. In a letter to the governor, state budget director John Hicks noted that the revenue outlook for this physical year has changed dramatically due to the global pandemic. He projects a shortfall of anywhere between 318 and 496 million dollars. State revenue grew 3.9% through the first three quarters, but now Hicks says we're on track for the first annual general fund decline since the 2010 fiscal year, when we were still dealing with the effects of the Great Recession. We're told that the threat could affect vital services, potentially causing issues with staffing for schools and police and fire departments. That's why again Bashir said yesterday that Congress needs to take action. All 50 U.S. governors uh, are pushing, are lobbying, are pressing, um, the federal government and Congress to include direct budget assistance to states and local governments that are facing the same thing. I want to push for the things we need. I don't want to be in the middle of a, a Washington, D.C. negotiation uh, or debate. Uh, that's, uh, that's not a place that I think many people uh, want to be. Now, the governor said that he did speak to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and expressed the need for federal aid. He said after that conversation, he doesn't think that federal aid will be here anytime soon. Claire, back to you.